The basal ganglia network demonstrated in a previous video is included as a subnetwork of the simulation shown here. It is connected to cortex, labeled as the state population, which represents the current cortical state of the system. This projects to basal ganglia. The most valuable state is selected by basal ganglia, which then projects to thalamus, disinhibiting an associated action. The action then changes the state of cortex, completing the famous cortex, basal ganglia, thalamus loop. This recurrent loop allows the system to progress through a sequence of states. Let me begin the simulation. As you can see, the input is only turned on briefly for the first 100 milliseconds. This starts the sequence in state D. The subsequent progression through other states is solely the result of internal dynamics. We can see the cortical state with the highest utility value in this graph. Basal ganglia is selecting the action, or rule, corresponding to the highest valued state. The rules in this example cause cortex in state A to go to B. If it's in state B, it's changed to C, and so on with E being changed back to A. Pausing the simulation allows us to see this behavior more clearly. Now the highest utility is D, so the rule that changes state D to E has its action selected. Stepping ahead allows that rule to take effect, changing the cortical state to E. This activates the action to change the cortical state to A, which happens when we restart the simulation. This same progression can be seen in this semantic pointer graph, where the similarity of all states to the current cortical state is displayed. Examining the distance between these peaks demonstrates that it takes about 40 to 50 milliseconds to go from one cortical state to the next. The network is very stable and will progress through this set of states until the simulation is stopped or there is other interrupting input.